Hello kids, welcome back. Are you ready to learn about rescue dogs? Take a look at this picture. What do you see? First, we see a dog here. He looks very excited. What did he find? You see his red tongue here. <laughs> very, very nice, cute dog. And here's a woman. She looks like she's in dressed for cold weather. She could be a skier, but she's holding the dog, right? What are they doing? Well, where is this picture being taken? Where is the camera? The camera looks like it's under the snow. So imagine if somebody is trapped under the snow, then the dog finds them because the dog can smell you. And so the dog comes and rescues the person under the snow. That's what we're going to learn about. These types of dogs that help rescue people or have other jobs as well. Let's take a look. Let's, let's take a look at the table of contents. Here we have working dogs. So when we think about dogs, usually we think they're pets. We keep them in the house. Uh, they're funny. They're entertaining. Uh, we care for them. They uh, care for us, don't they? They, they, uh, they love us too. And so that's what we usually think about with dogs. But dogs also have jobs to do. Some, some dogs work and they help their owners. Here we can see dogs to the rescue. Dogs to the rescue. In other words, dogs help rescue people. We see here the right puppy. Not all dogs can work. Not all dogs can rescue people. You have to know which is the right puppy, which is the right baby dog. Train and test. So dogs need to be trained. They need to be tested. And here we see rescue dogs in action. So we can see the types of things that rescue dogs do. That'll be interesting. That's at the end of the book. And then also at the very end, we have our glossary, our list of important words that we studied in this book. Okay, let's begin with the story talking about working dogs. Now we can see here what place is this, right? Where is this happening? What is this here? This looks like an airplane, right? Part of an airplane. Here's the big engine, right? This is an airplane. And this is many suitcases. Many suitcases, it's baggage. Now here's a man, he looks like a policeman and or some kind of guard. And here's a dog, his dog. What's his dog doing? His dog is smelling these suitcases. The dog is smelling for dangerous things, right? That people should not have in their baggage. And that's what the dog is smelling for. So this dog works at an airport. So this is a type of working dog. Here's another type of working dogs over here. Here we have a dog here. He kind of looks kind of funny, right? Uh, he's, his head is low to the ground, but this is a sheep dog, right? And we've, we've took a look at these types of dogs before. A sheep dog helps move the sheep to where they're supposed to go. The sheep dog helps the farmer move the sheep. Here we have a special situation. This woman is wearing sunglasses. Why is she wearing sunglasses? One of the reasons is, is because she's blind. She can't see. So you think about this, this is very terrible. Some people can't see, some people can't hear. But if you can't see, how could you live your life? How would you get around? It would be very dangerous. If you cross the street, you can't see the cars. You could hear them, but you're still not sure where they are. And you're not sure where things are in the street. You might walk into them. So this is very terrible. This is a very bad situation for people who cannot see. So what do they do? They have a dog that helps them, and we call these dogs a guide dog because the dog guides them, right? They hold on to the leash here, they hold on to the collar or the, uh, the harness, and the dog will stop. The dog is very smart. The dog knows when to cross the street. The dog knows, hey, there's a, uh, a bump in the road, so move the person so that they don't step in the hole in the road or they can step over the curb, right? So the dog is very smart, and the dog knows about all these things. In many restaurants and many buildings, they say no dogs allowed, 
But of course, if a blind person has a do guide dog, then that's a special case. Of course, they can go into those buildings with their dog because the dog is helping the person who is blind. So these are different examples of dogs that help people. And these are working dogs. Let's read. Dogs are good workers. They can run fast. They can smell well. They can learn to obey. So they can run fast. They can do this. They can run very fast. Okay? They can smell very well. So that's important if they're trying to smell for dangerous things. They can smell well. If they can run fast. They can run after sheep. Right? They can learn to obey. Obey. What does obey mean? Obey means to follow commands. If somebody tells you to do something, your mother, your father, your teacher, they tell you to do something, you should do it. You should obey your mother. You should obey your father. You should obey your teacher. You know, be quiet in the class. Don't fight with other students. You should obey these things, these rules or these commands. Dogs can also learn rules or commands. We can tell them, sit. Right? We can tell them, uh, uh, roll over. Right? Those are things for playing. But we can also teach them important things like, go, go smell uh, the suitcase. Like, go get it. And then the dog will smell. We can say, uh, you know, give different commands for the dog to turn the sheep to the right or the left. We can give the dog different commands so the dog learns how to guide a blind person through a city. So dogs can learn to obey. Dogs like to work with people, right? Dogs are very friendly. Dogs like people, right? Don't be afraid of dogs. Only very few dogs are, are dangerous. Most dogs, almost all dogs, are very happy to see you and their tail wags and they <laughs> and you know that they're happy to see you. So don't be afraid of a dog in that case, right? They like to work with people. They like to be around people. Some dogs have important jobs to do, and we saw the different jobs that these dogs have. This dog helps the policeman. This dog helps the farmer. This dog helps the blind person. So these dogs have important jobs to do. Dogs to the rescue. This is a very important job. This is one type of job that dogs have, right? Some dogs, not all dogs, but some dogs become rescue dogs. This is a very important job for the dogs. They help find lost people. They help find people after disasters. So what do they help do? They help find lost people. If there is a person in the forest who's lost, they don't know how to get home. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes children get lost when their family goes camping in the mountains or in the forest. The dogs can help the adults or the, the people to find that person so that person can get food and water and shelter, right? Sometimes there is a disaster. What is a disaster? A disaster is a terrible event like a fire or a... Uh, Think about in the wintertime, there's a lot of snow in the mountains. That snow sometimes falls and it comes down the mountain. And it's a lot of snow. Ah, right? If you're caught in it, you can get buried with snow, right? That is a disaster. The dog can help find you after the disaster or after a fire or after a tsunami is another type of disaster. Maybe you heard about the tsunami in Asia uh, many years ago, right? So after these types of disasters, people get lost or people get hurt and they can't move. Dogs can help find those people. They. Who's they? Dogs. Rescue dogs. They have a good sense of smell. A sense of smell means, if you have a good sense of smell, it means you can smell things from far away. Usually if your mother cooks a delicious meal, you can smell it, right? If you have a good sense of smell, you can smell it from outside or before you come near your house. I think mom's cooking something. Run home, right? You have a good sense of smell. I have a bad sense of smell. I can't smell it until I come in the home, right? Okay. A dog can follow a scent for miles. 
Here we have this word scent. A scent is another word for smell, right? Many things have scents. Scent, a scent. For example, people have scent. Do you know you have your own special scent? That's right. If you smell, whoo I have a very strong scent. <laughs> okay, hopefully not. <laughs> but if you smell yourself, you smell differently than your friends or the other people in your family. Maybe you don't know that. You don't pay attention to that. But if you have a dog in your house, your dog can know who is there just by smelling you because the dog has a very good sense of smell. The dog can smell your scent and know it's you. Your dog can smell your sister's scent and know it's her. Your dog can smell your father's scent and know, ah, it's Papa. Without seeing, without hearing, the dog can know just from the scent. The scent is a smell. It can search during the day or at night. Dogs, of course, they don't need to see. They can search at night because they're following their nose. They can smell very well. They have a good sense of smell. Okay, so this is one type of dog. Uh, and we can see some other examples of a rescue dog. This dog is going to a damaged building. So maybe this building has been damaged probably by a fire, right? And this dog is going into the damaged building. It will look for people. Wow, looks very professional, right? Looks like a professional dog. The dog is wearing a special harness. He's in a special uh, piece of equipment and very calm, knows what to do. It's not excited. It's waiting until it gets to the building, and then it will look for people to rescue. Here, there are rescue dogs in adventure stories and films. So this is a drawing, but it's from a book, right? Many adventure stories and even movies, there are dogs who rescue people because this is what happens in real life. So we also read about them in adventure books. We see them in movies. Uh, we see dogs rescuing people. When I was a boy, there was a famous dog on American TV. The dog's name was Lassie. L-A-S-S-I-E. Lassie. And Lassie was a very smart dog. And she would uh, help rescue people or tell her owners. She would bark and say, there's somebody in trouble. And then she would run. The owners would go after her and then she would lead them to the person who was in trouble. It's a very smart dog. This type of dog is a special dog that helps uh, rescue people in the snow and also from drowning. You see this thing around its neck here? That has actually got some alcohol, so like whiskey, inside of it. Why? Because when people are cold or they drop into cold water, they need something strong to drink to make them warm. Okay, so that's very funny. This is a very famous type of dog that has that drink around its neck uh, so that it helps people who are very cold and are in the snow or uh, need some, uh, some warmth. Okay, well, this is one type of dog that uh, helps. This is one type of job that dogs have. Let's take a break here. In the next part of the lesson, we'll take a look at some other things that dogs do. See you then.